of my head room, um, and I'm going to show you that how a, a work of art can be done many times. Can I, uh, many times, you can put on that money on a uh, pretty painting, and how it can affect the young child, and how if you're doing paint art, and identify that this is a problem, and how you can move on and get rid of the problem. Wind drinking is a large thing that uh, affects many Australians every year. It causes many deaths and many injuries. And so much to be taken very seriously. But it's not predominantly drinking that is a huge problem. It's when people go too far. Start with the drinking game, like beer tong, chugging, uh, and that's what that's what causes problems. That can raise yourself and raise your amount of money to really get hurt. Whether it be through your actions or just through all sorts of things. Um, you know, basically you can lose everything just like uh, Anakin Skywalker did. He sees you, he threw away his future, his wife, his friend, he filled his rooms with art, his dignity, his powers, his kids, and everything that they've seen just in one stupid move. Just like you did by him drinking. And so my question to you is are you prepared to throw it all away? Sacrifice everything that defines you, everything that matters, everything that leads to the means of your survival here. I hope your answer is no, and so I'm here to help. But you have to be as honest as you can, and you have to know when to step back, when the help is there. But how do we know if you even need help? You need to identify what type of drinker you are. When you drink, do you do it to shoot a taste, or do you do it for the appreciation of the kids? I'm here to help with idea number two. But how to tell if you drink to? You tend to drink quickly or regularly drink more than the lower sidelines of a single fish, sometimes just to the upside. If you find it hard to stop drinking, you could also have a problem with single with binge drinking and possibly alcohol dependence. But how to tell if you're a binge drinker? I've compiled a little list of a few ways to identify whether you have a single drinking problem. Then Okay, so number one, daredevil delusion. Have you ever had a random urge to go out and do something you've never done before? Whether it be skydiving or high speed go karting? This can be because as excessive use of alcohol has an effect on adrenaline at the levels in your body and can force you to do things that these adrenaline is not done. Becoming a weekend warrior, just so you can go to the hip pub on a Friday afternoon, is another reason you could be binge drinker. Thinking outside your boundaries. This is something typical of many people who really binge drink. They'll fight some time in the way of someone accidentally downing four drinks instead of a leg of soup. They don't drink that night. They don't drink to care to keep on going until they fall over or can't anymore again. Number four. Random memory loss. This is where a typical binge drinker starts to lose little sections of their memory. Normally this is little things like how you're going to get up home after going to town, whether or not you lost your house that night. It can also have long term effects. Number five. Signing of responsibilities. This is when a binge drinker starts to let some of their responsibilities slide. And some things that are considered low priority responsibilities can be left alone and this can lead to some very bad consequences. Now if any of these things ever occur to you, there's a fairly large chance you might be a binge drinker. Binge drinking can lead to all sorts of things, like unprotected sex leading to STIs and unplanned pregnancies and all sorts of relationship breakdowns. But there is some ways to fix it. Get a plan. Before you get out, make sure you have a detailed plan on how and what you're going to do, whether it be a maximum or an amount of time. The Australian Drug Foundation said monitoring your drinking is not easy. If you have used alcohol in an uncontrolled fashion over a long period of time, learning or relearning how to drink in an uncontrolled way will entail applying basic skills that you're not be familiar to. You've also got to recognise your triggers. It's extremely important to find out what exactly it is that gives you the craving to drink alcohol. If you can't find your triggers, try asking a friend for help or keeping note on when, where, what you drink. Slow down. The most effective way to control your drinking is slowly build up your drinker tolerance to alcohol. Another way to improve slow rate of consumption is to start with a soft drink or not doing much of the bath. It's been found that if you're drinking fast, you may, be feel, you may well be feeling the effects of a second drink while you're having a third or fifth. Consequently, you may become convinced to take three or four drinks to get the effects of your life when the reality does not. 